I'm sorry, what was the question? I, I, I said, uh, can you just kind of talk about what you summoned within yourself uh, in that four by four? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think for one, it's a, I knew going into the race, it wasn't just about me, you know, it's a team effort. And I saw all the ladies on our team running their leg, their leg like real well. So I didn't want to be the last, be the person to like mess that up. So just wanted to go out there and just do my best, you know, help us like hopefully pull us through the finish line for the first fastest time. Were, uh, were, were you aware of uh, how the team points had shaped up and what Arkansas had done before that? Uh, yes, uh, we were pretty close. I mean, after the 400, but I think there was like the 3K or the 5K that was like right before the 4x4. So, which, you know, kind of threw us off a little bit. But I mean, I think if we, uh, you know, if there wasn't that 3K or if, you know, 3K didn't go as well as it did for Arkansas, uh, we probably would have been uh, in a tight, tight, uh, some tight scoring points at the end after the 4x4. So. But then can you tell us about the 400 just from your perspective? Do you think you made any mistakes? Like how to go from your, your eyes? Yeah, uh, I think the race went, I mean, pretty well. It's kind of, uh, I guess, a little hard just because it's in indoors. You know, you have to break in and, you you know, you want to try and get that. Uh, the, you want to be the first person to the break or, you know, going into the second lap. And for me, that just didn't, you know, it didn't go that way. But I think overall it wasn't a terrible race. You know, it was the worst race I've ever ran in my life. Um Going out, I mean, it was pretty fast. I, that's, you know, around the same time I usually do, even when I'm running 50 points. So uh, it wasn't terrible. I think I just, you know, didn't have the greatest advantage just because I didn't make it to the break uh, first or I didn't make it going second lap first. And then running in the second lap slash like, sorry, running in the second lane throughout the like next lap wasn't really ideal, but um, I give it my all. So I'm pretty happy with that. What did you do to reset between the open four and the relay? Like, did your coach have any specific advice on how to approach it? Or was it, you know, you already knew what to do? Um, I mean, from previous races that we've done, I mean, I knew exactly what we had to do going into the four by four. Uh, of course, coaches, you know, just said, re like, you know, reset our minds, just get ready for the four by four, because, you know, it's a different event. We had our chance to have our individual. Now it's like a team effort. So we just wanted to go into the race and just, you know, be a team and just work with one another to, you know, try and finish first. After uh, your collegiate record at SECs, you tweeted out that, you know, I only ran that so people can stop calling me a 400 runner. Do you still view yourself that way? Like, do you think you're just an 800 wo woman who, you know, can run a good four? Or how do you think of yourself, especially given how fast you ran, you know, fastest indoor split ever in a four by four today? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I wanted to know if that was it, but I'm happy to know that. Um, but I mean, you know, I think ever since I started running the 400 again, like me, my junior year of high school, I've still thought of myself as an 800. And I'm like, you know, the 800 is always what I'm going to do. Um, but I mean, I think now just, you know, today I'm just like, you know, what? I actually like the 400, you know, it's a challenging race. It's, you know, it's fun to go out there and, you know, test myself. So, I mean, I think deep down I'll always be an 800 runner, but I think, Slowly, I'm uh, adding 400 to my, you know, um, what's that thing called? Where it's like my resume. I guess that's what you would call it. Yeah. Slowly but surely. I mean, I think it's just coming in there just a little bit. But don't want everyone to get a little too hype yet. It's just you know, it's just me consciously telling myself that. Why do you like the 800 better? Uh, I think I don't know. I think I feel like the 400 is just always like um a more fun race for me you know like the 800 I feel like that's just my event and my race where it's like you know you go into it you're like yeah I gotta do this and this is like what I want to do like I'm more focused on the 800 rather than the 400 you know I, I go into the 400 thinking yeah I'm just doing this for fun it's just I mean I think the same with 800 but it's just a little less pressure in the 400 I mean I think that changed a little bit this time just because you know, going to the race, I had the fastest time. And, nice and going to I'm out here. So I guess that changed a little bit, but 